the blues is that it's become a worldwide language. It's a root music of everything. You have to like channel something that's floating in the air and get it out. I think we go back as humans to find that place where you actually feel something as opposed to just hear in your head. That's where rediscovery of roots music and blues because it's all based on emotion. Songs where I'm really physically my whole body showing you my pain or my passion through the music. This affects people in a different way. You are the sound that you create. As long as your own personality and your own originality comes through that set you apart from anybody else, that is total freedom. As long as you are able to communicate what you're trying to say to as many people as possible. Yeah, I learned leaps and bounds with John Mayall. He didn't want me to be Eric Clapton. He didn't want me to be Mick Taylor. It was really a freeing. What I do play, I don't think about it. I play it. It's not from here, it's from here. If you're passionate about it and you're able to express yourself in that medium, then that's pretty much all you should try and do. It takes years and years and years of like actually playing it. I think I just about scratched the tip of the iceberg in that sense, you know, when I listen to people who have been doing it all their lives and it's so effortless, it's, it's like breathing. At first, I was kind of nervous about going in front of a crowd. Sometimes I just close my eyes you know, and just go for it, you know. You know very seldom I look at the audience. I look over the heads, you know. I don't really look directly at them. It's kind of weird looking at somebody looking right dead at your eyes. You know? <laughs> To keep making music until the end is important. You can keep going until the end if you have something to say and, and something, uh, music to make people feel something. That's what the blues is for. Me.